Hey guys, I'm going back to another quick form video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a new Samsung Galaxy A series coming out. So there's officially no like official release date or price yet, but you know, we'll probably discuss in this video what could potentially be the price for this phone and how it looks and all that good stuff like we usually do. So I know you guys don't usually like this format of video, but this is the best way to get this information out to you guys. But this is through um, Samsung's website. So so you see media resources, smartphones, the Galaxy A11. So yes, there's the A10e, the A20, the A50, the A51 pretty soon. Um, so let's get into this phone and see what is up with it. Uh, so we'll look at some specs and all that stuff. But right off the bat, you know, you can see here it's going to have a 6.4 inch. This is with A10, A50 have. It's a 720p uh, display. Um, so it's a 720 by 1560 TFT. Um, Infinity O display, which is pretty nice. But here is the phone, as you can see. And like I said, you will be reminded of like this looks more like a mixture of an A, maybe A50 mixed with an A20, or maybe an A10e mixed with a, uh, you know, 50 just because it has the three lenses on the back. But you can see it's nothing spectacular or anything like that. Um, I think the A50 out of all of these. It looks the best. I just like the body of it. It has kind of like a rainbowy shine. Um, it's almost uh, what's they called? Glastic, like fake, like glass plastic or something like that. It looks like um, it's easy to scratch. That's for sure. So uh, yeah, nothing too exciting. The only thing in the back definitely would be, I would say, the three lenses on the back, and we'll see what that is. Of course, there's flash, and that's a fingerprint sensor on the back. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Then, of course, the Samsung logo on, uh, you know, the back as well. Um, let's see. So here's the front. It will have a um, hole punch camera, kind of like the C, the S, uh, S10s. Um, that's what they have. So if you ever looked at the um, S10 or anything like that, S10 Plus or, you know, that's how it looks, which is, I don't mind it at all. It has a lot of wallpapers that you can actually disguise it, and a lot of people have figured out how to do it. So it just lets you see more of the screen, which I kind of like that feature, um, you know, not having a notch. I, I do like that. <laughs> so let's go on the bottom. As you can see, you can, there's the images and everything of it. Wow, it looks like it comes in different colors. So there's a gray, there's a white, there's a, like a baby blue, a red. I would definitely comp that red uh, for sure. So um, then there's videos. Let's look at the tech specs. That's exactly what we want to look. So the specs is, like I said, it's a 6.4 inch HD plus display at 720 by 1560 uh, TFT Infinity O display. Uh, so it's pretty, eh, I would say it's decent. You know, 720, I wish it was, you know, 1080, but at 720, this, I'm guessing this will retail about 180 or less. Uh, you know, with a 720 a display, maybe at $200 price range is what I'm guessing. Like I said, we'll, let's look at more of the specs. Um, the processor and octa core 1.8 gigahertz. That's pretty cool. Here are the three cameras that we're talking about. The main's a 13 megapixel F1.8. Uh, There's a depth sensor or depth camera. It's a two megapixel F2.4 and ultra wide a five megapixel F2.2. So, We'll have a main camera, a depth camera, and ultra wide as well. So one's just for the depth, and then, uh, you know, it's for like bokeh and a bunch of other stuff. But the main camera's 13 megapixels, which is not too bad. And then, of course, it does have an ultra wide, which is actually pretty nice to have in uh, especially these phones these days. The front is 8 megapixel with an f2.0. Not too bad. Memory, this is where we'll get to it. It's most likely it's going to have 2 gigabytes of RAM, but it says either two gigabytes or three gigabytes of RAM, just upon, depends on the model, but most likely the US will get the two gigabyte variant. We'll have 32 gigs of internal storage. So, you know, it's decent, um, you know, it's okay. Like I said, the A50 does have 64, so it just depends how much storage you'll need. You can put up to a 512 gigabyte SD card. Now, wow, look at the battery. It's 4,000 milliamp battery. I'm liking that, very good. I'm, I like that even the ACVs are all getting, you know, big batteries as well as a fast charger. I mean, look at Apple. I mean, you just compare this with an Apple iPhone. You have to get the pro model just to get fast charging, 15 watts. I mean, look at this. Samsung's just like, yeah, here you go, man. You get a free, well, not free, um, of course, with purchase, but you get a fast 
charger out the box, which is great. That's why I like Samsung so much and, you know, Android phones overall. Biometrics, of course, rear fingerprint also has face recognition, so you can unlock it with just looking at it, which is pretty cool. I like that feature, and like I said, the colors are black, white, blue, and red. So, wow. Not bad at all, guys. Uh, like I said, it's it's pretty cool. I actually, I want to get this phone and unbox it and review it, and hopefully it does come to prepaid carriers like Boost Mobile, Cricket, um, Metro by T-Mobile. If it does, I will pick it up for you guys and unbox it, especially if it comes out, like I said, Boost or any prepaid carriers. I want to check this out. I like Samsung phones, and that's what I mainly use. So, yeah. Dragonic Warfare, sign off. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Everything will be in the description below where you can support the channel and all that good stuff. So, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully some phones come out. I don't know what's a holdup. I haven't seen a new phone come out in a while. So, But, you know, you're in the right place for news and all that good stuff. So, thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.